พาดมีมิสเตอร์บาร์เนอ I don't know whether that's your real name <laughs> I of course modesty forbids that I should comment on these wonderful compliments which you have so kindly said about me there's many other things that have been said about me too <laughs> however this is rather a change in this torrid these torrid times I'm not one for making speeches very much I remember 21 years ago, Mr. the illustrious Prime Minister, Mr. Winston Churchill, introduced me, and I was terribly nervous on that occasion. I remember he talked about the little boy that came over from the other side of the river, and now he's residing at the uh, Ritz-Carlton, so forth, etc. And I got up and I said, uh, and I was terribly impressed because I hadn't heard the usual formalities that uh, in introducing a speaker. And I remember I was terribly impressed with Mr. Churchill when he said, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, although I'm English, naturally I had never up to that moment been in the environment where that was said, having resided in Lambeth many, many years. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, I got up and I said, uh, as my lords, ladies and gentlemen, and after that mouthful, I said, uh, the late Chancellor of the Exchequer, and then I heard uh, the, the booming, chuckling voice of Mr. Churchill say, I like that, the late, the late ch <laughs> Chancellor of the Exchequer. I said, well, I couldn't very well say the, it seemed rather strange to say the ex-Chancellor of the Exchequer. <laughs> <laughs> Too many X's in it, though. However, I'm duly impressed and very moved because when I came back here, I can't be glib at this time. Too much has happened to me, too much that has that's been so moving. This great, friendly reception, the love of the people, <coughs> their warm welcome is really something ineffable. I can't begin to explain or to give my thanks, but I want to take this occasion to do so because it has been a great help to me. I see London, and I'm agreeably surprised you might like to know this. You know, I've met friends in the States who said, well, I think you'll be a little, dis uh, a little bit disappointed. There are, you won't recognize London. And I had qualms and fears about that. And uh, they said it's rather melancholy and down and so forth. And of course, this was a couple of years ago. And I came here rather expecting to feel as that sort of thing. After all, England, poor old England, has been knocked about a bit. And uh, the suffering and the sacrifices and the hardships are, are well, although you have Going well, through all that, I think you're footing the bill. And I believe that it's clearing an atmosphere for a brighter future. I don't say that glibly. It's very easy for me, who's been living in the States, in luxury, to say that to you, who've been tightening your belts ever since the war, having won it, and so forth. And, but. Uh, I say it because my feelings, my instincts, when I see the children, I came here in 21, and I used to look up at those little pale faces of the cockney kids where I came from, with their rotten teeth and everything else, and one felt impotent about it. But today you have social medicine, and I think it's doing a great deal of, I've seen rosy cheeked children, bright, vigorous, active, smiling up with confidence, they are the future of England. If for nothing else, <laughs> socialized medicine, if I may say so, it's a grand thing for that reason, to take care of our future generation. Now, I am moved in many respects, but I must say this, there's a resurgence 
an upswing of optimism. It's in the people, in their step, in their gait, in the new buildings that are going on. I feel that very keenly, because I'm, you know, a part gypsy and I have an instinct, you know. It's not purely intelligence with me. <laughs> Nevertheless, I feel that and I think that we can only go one way up. You've been going down. I think we've touched the bottom of the well and nothing is permanent, thank God. And from that bottom, I think we're bound to spring up again. I want to thank you because your gesture here is like mine. It's all for a good cause. And together, let the good work go on. Thank you very much. <laughs>